Hey guys, Sam Newman, Denver Realtor. Today I want to do something a little different. Now we know Denver is a great city for a lot of reasons and one of my favorites is how much green space it has. So today I want to take you on a quick tour of Denver's best parks. Let's go. We start with Denver's largest park, the aptly named City Park. At 330 acres, it is the crown jewel of the Mile High City's parks program. In my opinion, it is the perfect blend of wooded area and open green space, and there's plenty to do. Glorious day here in City Park. City Park has been around since 1882 and is home to both the Denver Zoo and the Museum of Nature and Science, which, pro tip, has the best view of downtown and the mountains from its upstairs terrace. In the middle of the park is Farrell Lake, and if you want to take a spin on the water, just swing by the boathouse and rent a paddle boat. Walk natural, look like a human being. Beyond that, City Park has tennis courts, baseball fields, and a recently remodeled golf course. Make sure to stop by on a Sunday in the summer for Jazz in the Park, one of the best free activities Denver has to offer. Next, we arrive at Cheeseman Park, which is just to the east of Cap Hill. Now, Cheeseman doesn't have all the bells and whistles that a city park does, but it is an ideal spot for relaxing on a summer day. The centerpiece of the park is this, the Pavilion, which was built in 1910. It's a Greek-style structure and one of the only of its kind in Denver. Many don't know this, but in the 1800s, Cheeseman Park was actually built on a cemetery. Haunted? We can't be sure. Cheeseman's a great spot for a workout or a picnic, and it's a favorite of joggers because of this path that runs along the outside. Plus, the Cheeseman Park neighborhood is, for my money, one of the most underrated in the city. It's got plenty to do, some of the best architecture, and a wide range of housing options. Now for something a little different. Confluence Park represents our most urban vibe of the day. It's located right at the confluence of the South Platte River and Cherry Creek, and is just down the street from Union Station and the heart of downtown Denver. It is a great place to take a walk or ride your bike along the river, or heck, drop a line and go fishing. In fact, kayaking is one of the favorite activities here at Confluence Park. You can swing by Confluence kayaks to rent a kayak, or if you're like me, a tube. And if it gets too hot, you can just come up and relax in the shade. Was that okay or did it look awkward? Afterward, swing by Denver Beer Co. for a beverage. For the days are long and we almost take a break now and then. And finally we arrive at Washington Park, or Wash Park if you've been in Denver for more than five minutes. This is the centerpiece of one of Denver's most popular neighborhoods. The 165 acre park has quite possibly the most giant grassy green space in all of Denver, and it's a hot spot for recreation of all kinds. In the summer, Wash Park is a favorite for volleyball games and barbecues. There's also two ponds with paddle boats for rent. Unsurprisingly, the surrounding area is home to some of the highest home prices in the Denver Metro. Those are my four favorites. It's obviously not an exhaustive list because Denver has dozens of great parks. But for now, I want to thank you for hanging out with me today. And it's hot out, so I'm going to go get one more frosty beverage. See ya. Hey, one more thing real quick. Are you considering buying or selling a home and would maybe like a few tips? Hit the link below. I'll put it in the description and you can grab my free buyer's or seller's guide. They have a lot of good information to just help make your life easier. So go grab that and let me know what you think.